Dobrý den. Hello, my name is Sharka. I'm the local guide, mother of two kids and yoga devotee. I love to travel. I love art and history. And I really like my job of tour guide, of course. And uh, when I travel, I always want to meet the local people. Maybe just sit down in their favorite restaurant, try their favorite food for reasonable prices. Just get behind the boundaries of the guidebooks, get involved and be the temporary local. And this is what I want you to experience when you travel to Prague. Uh, during the last 15 years, I have met many, many tour guides and the best of local tour guides I chose and I did create a great team of the best tour guides, the best drivers, and we use comfortable Mercedes, Benz, minivan cars for your comfortable tours. So if you ever come to Prague, you should think it over. If you get the licensed tour guide who makes the difference and you can understand the city or just you get lost and wander around and you don't get the point. Here we are standing at my favorite place of Prague, the Charles Bridge. Well, the bridge is a kind of romantic connection between the Prague Castle, the royal head of Prague, and the simple people of the old town, the businessmen and burghers. And if you prolong this line, it is a beautiful connection between the Western Europe and the Eastern Europe. Yes, it was a very important solid land connection. Somebody was smart, somebody who built this bridge in 1350s and that was our King Charles IV. Not only he founded this bridge, he founded the Charles University, the new town of Prague, many churches, monasteries, the city walls. We really love him. He established so many things that until today we use them as a resource. He was very religious and superstitious and he founded the bridge on the very special date. It was a date of odd numbers. You can try to name odd numbers and you get the date. One, three, five, seven, here we are. The bridge was founded in 1357 and the legend says it was on the ninth day of the seventh month, uh, five o'clock, 31 minutes. So you get the palindrome of odd numbers. And as you know, odd numbers bring good luck and it works. This bridge has survived. 650 years. So if you ever build something, think about odd numbers. And uh, not only the bridge is beautiful, there are of course the wonderful statues. When you look around, you can see 30 Baroque statues. They were brought later between 16, 17 up to 1800s. And all the statues are saints, Catholic saints. And they tell you one story, be Catholic, be Catholic, be Catholic. It can heal you, it can help you, it can save you. So as you cross the bridge, you get properly educated about the Christianity. The most famous and the oldest statue is St. John of Nepomuk. It's always very favorite, famous and crowded place because when you touch the place where this saint was killed, it can bring you good destiny and good luck. You have a one wish for all your life. You touch the place where the saint was killed and you'll be lucky. And it works. I finished university this way. And that was a miracle, I can tell you. So, uh, the place is a bit hidden, it's secret. And you can see many tourists going around the Charles Bridge and they are polishing statues and stones and they desperately look for the place. So if you ever come to Prague, you maybe think about hiring some personal Prague guy who will tell you the story, you can understand the town, and you will touch the real place where the saint was killed and you can get into this magic and you can become to be part of our Prague fairy tale. Ahoy!